so uh, i hope you have been to the video lectures that i have provided yes or no rishikesh rehan teja sishman gear problem sir yes gear problem that i have given now yes sir, sir. first video seen sir first and others <coughs> have gone through it yes sir okay so you have understood it right any confusion in that i'll be discussing but uh, if you have already gone through it then it will be easy for us to have a discussion you will be able to understand the things in a better way right okay so uh, i think the screen is visible yes sir okay so uh, okay if you uh, recall okay in the last video lecture i have uh, if any about this gear problem that I have discussed, okay. So one second, we'll just go through it. So first problem is it, it is with respect to actually gear train, but it is very simple, okay. Simple one, you'll be able to understand that, okay. So uh, uh, this this problem, I think, will it will be better if we start after uh, studying about the gear trains, okay. There are like simple gear train, compound gear train, all those things we'll discuss in the after this particular process okay then the, this problem will be very easy in that case so here also, right now also it is very easy so basically in this compound gear train uh, in this stuff we can have multiple gears as you can see gear b is there gear c is there on the same stuff similar case gear d and gear e they are on the same stuff and all okay so basically uh we utilize that so this this problem we'll self uh see after we discuss about the gear train but today let's start with a problem okay gear normal gear drive problem so the problem statement says 220 degree in volts per gears mass externally and give a velocity ratio of three the module is given as 3 mm and the add and dam is equal to 1.1 times the module okay so it is said that the pinion is rotating at 120 rpm and you need to find out the minimum number of teeth on each wheel to avoid interference as well as the contact ratio. So, so given that what is given, so 20 degree in fluid per gear means this 20 degree is nothing but the pressure angle phi. Okay, then external missing is given, then um, velocity ratio is given. Okay, so those things all those given that i will write down okay the pinion speed is given and speed 120 rpm then velocity ratio is 3 okay module is given to be module is also 3 milliliter that is m is 3 addendum is given as 1.1 times the module so addendum is 1.1 into m this 1.1 is what the addendum coefficient a w that we have discussed in the last class now okay so this uh, multiplication factor is nothing but the aw so from there we can find out that the coefficient aw is nothing but this 1.1 okay so now we need to find out the minimum number of teeth for each wheel to avoid interference as we know in case of inverted gear system there is a requirement of minimum uh, number of teeth which will be there in the gear wheel so as to avoid interference and for that we already have uh, the expression for that so directly we can utilize this so uh, first we'll be finding out for that particular gear and then from that value we can find out for the pinion so the tz that is for the gear we are talking about okay so the minimum number that will be required to avoid interference so this is this expression is already one known expression if you can recall so two whole into a to a w divided by root over one plus one by z divided by one plus z plus two whole into sine square phi minus one. So this is the expression. So there the uh, all those values are already there. Okay. So a w is there. That is one point one. Similarly, uh, for here you know this is the becomes one by z. This is one by z. Okay. So this values given values we are going to utilize here okay so 2 into aw is 1.1 1 .1, over 1 plus c is gear ratio is given by 3 okay so 1 by z 1 by 3 that means like this okay then phi is 20 degree minus 1 so this gives you after solving gives you the 
number of care as 49.44 it is the minimum number of care a uh, teeth that is required on the gear that is the bigger wheel so now just tell me you people tell me can the number of teeth on a gear be this kind of fractional number 49.44 we have obtained na? number of teeth can it be like this 49.44 fractional value so these are discrete right suppose one teeth then i'm gonna have second teeth third teeth four teeth like this 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 right yes or no are you getting me please respond hello i hope i'm audible yes yes sir okay. Okay, so tell me, so the number of teeth, okay, can it be like uh, uh, your, this kind of 49.44, that kind of fractional value, is it, is it acceptable? Definitely no, we know that suppose this one teeth, suppose then this is the second teeth, then suppose the third teeth, and so on, that is the whole number that we have, okay? And uh, this is 49.44, as uh, after finding out, we have obtained like this. So this is not an acceptable, so what we have to go for, this is the minimum as per the, uh, this solution right okay so what we'll do we'll be considering the next <coughs> uh, higher whole number and uh, as we have seen this uh, gear ratio is given okay that's three okay so we have to it is that particular value also should be divisible by that particular velocity ratio that is three so what is the next higher number after 49.44 which is divisible by three that is 51 Okay, so that whole number we are considering also it is divisible by the velocity ratio that is given. Or the gear ratio is we will know that number of teeth in the gear divided by number of teeth in the pinion. Okay, so that is the thing. This is actually gear ratio, not velocity ratio. So this is the number of teeth on the bigger wheel. So we also need to find out the minimum number of teeth that will be required in the pinion also. This is for the wheel that is done or the gear that is done. So for the pinion, we need to find out. So for that, we can just use the data about the gear ratio. We know. This gear ratio is nothing but the number of teeth in the pinion or uh, gear to the number of teeth in the pinion. And we need to find out this small t. So small t will be t by that particular z value. Okay. So t is just now we have obtained that number of teeth in the gear to be 51 divided by the 3. So that is the 17 is the number of teeth on the pinion. Okay. So first part is over. Understood? Let me know. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. So in the next part, what they are asking? They are asking about the contact ratio or the number of pair of teeth that is in contact. So for that, we already know this contact ratio is given by arc of contact divided by the circular pitch. Now this arc of contact is given by path of contact divided by cos of phi, and circular pitch is nothing but pi m. Okay, so because pi c is pi d by t, so from there we can obtain p c equal to pi m. So now it has got, if you recall, this path of contact has got two portion. This path of contact has got two portion. One is the path of approach, one part is path of approach. Next is path of recess. Okay, divided by this cos pi, this is cos pi into pi m into pi m. Okay. Now, what is this path of approach? We know this is given by root of r, r square minus r square cos square phi minus r of sin phi. And for the same case, this is now this capital R for the gear, okay, the bigger wheel, and small letters for the pinion, okay. So, similar kind of expression that is there, okay. So, now here, if you look at what are the unknown here? In this expression, which we are going to use, what are the unknown? So, what is the? What are the unknowns here? Because we need to excuse, we are going to use this expression now. This R A, this R, these are the unknown. Because cos is cos, no problem. Phi is already given. It is known. One second, R is the same R phi is already given sine phi you can will be able to find out similarly small r a small r these are unknown right 
and the other things are known so that means those r values or r values with equal similar is the case smaller that is for the opinion and this is for the opinion so what is this r a and what is r this r is nothing but the up to which circle we consider all those radius diameter value up to the pitch circle so this r represents the pitch circle radius okay so this is pitch circle radius this r and capital letter for this is for what capital letter for which one gear okay the gear and small letters for the pinion that is a smaller wheel. so we can we write that cap and this is up to how which pitch circle so pitch circle radius equal to you can find out equal to half of the diameter diameter is empty so empty by 2 so r equal to m m is already given 3 meter that is the module t capital t that is the number of teeth that we have obtained divided by 2 so we have obtained r to be that is the pitch circle radius to be 36.5 millimeter now what is r a r a is nothing but it is the addendum circle radius okay and uh, if you recall addendum circle radius is nothing but suppose let's consider this is the curve teeth okay so addendum circle is this one the bigger one okay which goes to the outer surface of this particular teeth this is the addendum circle and uh, this one passing to the pitch point okay this is the pitch circle okay so now how we'll be able to find out the addendum radius okay Addendum circle with this. So we know the value that is uh, value, this is the R value up this mass. This is R, this pitch circle this. But we need up to this. Okay. So this is the addition of this particular portion. Yes. R plus this particular portion. If we just add, we are going to get up to the addendum circle. Okay. And this portion is nothing but the value of the addendum. So R plus addendum is addendum circle radius so that is what we are we are writing r a equal to r a equal to r plus the addendum okay addendum circle radius equal to the pitch circle radius plus the addendum correct and addendum is already given r we have just found out to be this 76.5 and the uh, addendum is given as 1.1 times the module that is 1.1 into m okay and m is 3 so that is what we are writing and after from there we have obtained the addendum circle radius for the gear this is for the gear capital letters to be 79.8 millimeter similarly for the pinion we can find out this is for the pinion small letters okay we can find out the for the pinion we can find out pitch circle radius from there by adding the addendum to it we will be able to find out r so r equal to m t by 2 t where m is the module small t is the number of teeth in the pinion divided by 2 gives you 25.5 millimeter and the r a that is up to the addendum circle this is the addition of this plus the addendum or the addendum value addendum is 1.1 times the module 1.1 into 3 module is 3 so have obtained these two values okay so now in this expression in this expression we'll just put those particular Sir? I think we lost the network connection now. I think we lost the network connection in between now. Fluctuating. Yes, sir. Ah. Okay, so up to how much we have uh, we have discussed? Z in them, so this. This array we have obtained now. This Okay, so addendum, how you obtain uh, that pass understood? Hello? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Understood, sir. Uh, 
okay the screen is visible yes sir okay so after finding this array okay same thing we are going to do for the pinion that is we are going to find out the r as well as ra for the pinion okay in the same way but this time the capital letters will be replaced by small letters for pinion and the number of teeth etc we have to consider for the pinion not for the hip. okay and we are finding out r to be smaller to be 25.5 millimeter and similarly by adding the addendum value plus the your the pitch circle radius for the pinion we are going to find out the ra that is the addendum circle radius for the pinion okay we have obtained like 28.8 millimeter after this we are just putting in the known expression this expression only in this expression we are just finding or uh, putting those values and we have obtained the value to be 1.78 now this 1.78 lies between 1 and 2 right so what i can say that means that means one pair of the teeth will always in remain always remain in contact whereas this is 0.78 now this is 0.78 1.78 so for 78 percent point eight means point seven eight means for 78 percent of the time two pairs of teeth will be in contact understood and this completes this particular problem let me know you have understood or not yes sir yes, understood okay what about others yes 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 then uh, we'll go for another problem so what does it say it says that two gear wheels of 10 centimeter and 15 centimeter pitch diameter it is the pitch circle diameter have inverted to profile of 1.6 dp dp means diametral pitch okay so this is not the module is not given diametral pitch is given this thing that's it not which is that is the inverse of the module okay which is not generally used but uh, in this question this is inside. and pressure angle phi is given 20 degrees addenda are given as 3.5 million this is the plural of addendum okay addenda for both the wheels that is addenda for both the care and the pin this is three minutes you need to find out the length of path of contact then you need to find out the contact ratio as well as you need to find out the angle which is turned by the pinion while any pair of the teeth is in contact okay this is what you need to find out so what are given in, in uh, initially we'll be writing down all those given data okay so what is given so two gear wheels means automatically we understand that we are talking about the care and uh, we are talking about the the pinion okay care and pinion okay so which one is generally is the driver which one is driven Then the minion is the driver, then the care is the driver. So whatever. Okay. So now uh, this is the pitch diameter that is given. That is D D is given. Okay. So we'll just write down whatever is given. So D1 is 10 centimeter, D2 is given as uh, 15 centimeter. Uh, as uh, addenda etc in terms of millimeter as well as uh, module also generally we use in terms of millimeter so we'll just this uh, okay if we convert it to this values 10 centimeter 15 centimeter to millimeter okay so 10 centimeter becomes 100 mi millimeter 15 means like 150 millimeter similarly this pressure angle is given pressure angle means that is phi okay so phi means 20 20 degree and the uh, addenda is given okay that is 3 millimeter addenda is given as three millimeter that also we'll write down now in this question if you note properly so it is given that it is of 1.6 dp dp means diametral pitch okay so now dp that is diametral pitch is nothing but 1.6 and we know it is just the inverse of module okay that is t by d is given and from there for our understanding, we basically need, we are interested in knowing the value of the module, small m. So, m is just the reverse of diametral pitch, that is d by t. So, that gives us the value to be 0 0.625 millimeter as the value of your module. Understood? Up to this much, any confusion? How we are obtaining the module from the diametral pitch value?
लो ये पर पुला डेरा डॉन यस सर ओके सर ओके 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 सो नेक्स्ट so those diameter value pitch circle diameters are given so from there we'll be able to find out the radius okay so radius we know that capital we denote for the gear okay capital letters for the gear and the small letters for the pinion that is the gear is the bigger wheel small and the small uh, pinion is the smaller wheel okay so r that is small r we can write d1 d d1 is the small value not 10 cm d2 is 15 cm so this is with the pinion this and it this is with respect to the gear okay so now r1 this is half of the diameter of the uh, smaller wheel okay so 100 by 250 mm similarly capital r that is also half of the diameter of this particular bigger wheel so 150 by 275 mm okay this is done just smaller and capital r is done okay now we know from our previous knowledge that means we are also, while finding out the contact ratio we will also be requiring that r a values okay that is the addendum circle radius value and that we can find out by adding the pitch circle radius plus the addendum yes that we know so now from there, we can find out addendum radius for the gear, that is capital R A equal to capital R plus the addendum value. Capital R, just now we have found out to be 75, plus the addendum is already given in the question as 3 millimeter. Okay, 75 plus 3 gives you 17 mm. Similarly, addendum radius for the pinion, that is smaller A, that is smaller, plus the addendum value, 50 plus 3, 53 millimeter. Okay, up to this much, I hope that should be clear. Now, from our previous knowledge we already know so if you just go back to the previous question so you have seen that this part of contact which is here okay this is basically combination of the part of approach plus the part of resist right so now in the question this particular value the part of approach as well as part of resist is also directly asked I think. okay so <coughs> length of part of contact is asked okay so the first part directly you can utilize okay that is length of parts of contact equal to capital uh, root over capital r square minus r square cos square phi minus r of sin phi plus this is for the same thing for the opinion that is smaller the whole square minus r smaller square cos square phi minus r sin phi okay and these values are already known okay r value r value phi value these are known similarly smaller the value smaller phi value already obtained okay so just by putting the value we have obtained as 15.19 millimeter as the length of part of contact now also we need to find out the contact ratio okay so contact ratio you know we can obtain by arc of contact divided by circular pitch okay so now we know part of contact so part of from part of contact we will be able to find out arc of contact arc of contact is nothing but part of contact left hand part of contact divided by the cos of the pressure angle okay cos phi so part of contact is 15.19 millimeter divided by cos of 20 gives you arc of contact as 16.16 millimeter that is the arc of contact and what is contact ratio n equal to arc of contact divided by circular pitch pi m or okay so what is this value this is 16.16 okay this is the part of contact because already we know this values directly we can use contact ratio equal to arc of contact by circular pitch okay so arc of contact 16.16 divided by pi into m pi into this m is we have obtained a 0 0.625 so contact ratio we have obtained like 8.23 this is the value of contact ratio up to this much any confusion any confusion up to this much no sir okay next also we need to find out what is the angle turned by the pinion that is a smaller wheel while any pair of teeth is in contact okay
okay so now for this you see <coughs> we know this is KR wheels are generally circular in nature okay and what is the circumference of a circle twice pi r twice pi r okay r. now in yes correct okay so in the case of your gears generally this r is which r we are talking about up to which circle pitch circle right yes yes sir okay so now you see they are asking what is the angle turn by the pinion when any pair of teeth is in contact okay so now you see if throughout this particular let's consider this 2 pi r this the circumference okay so if length contact length is this much 2 pi r the whole portion the pin, then what will be the angle turn angle turn will be this whole 360 degree that is one complete revolution yes or no yes because we have got 360 degrees of the angle subtended here in this circular center of the circle 360 degree right so if you think then for contact length of 2 pi r angle turn is 360 degree let's consider the contact length is of one unit contact length is there then just in the method we are using okay then we can say like the angle turn will be 360 divided by this 2 pi r 360 by 2 pi r okay now whenever we are talking about a contact okay then that is nothing but the arc of contact we are talking about okay now if the contact length is equivalent to or equal to the arc of contact then the angle turn will be this 360 that's unitary method 360 by 2 pi r into the arc of contact yes so this is how basically we have developed the direct equation for that okay that means the angle turn by the pinion we can directly write the length of arc of contact here it is arc of contact into this 360 degree 360, arc of contact into 360 degree divided by the circumference for the pinion so 2 pi r is nothing but the circumference 2 pi r understood and now we are just putting the value so arc of contact we have just obtained 16.16 here we have obtained this arc of contact as 16.16 okay and 360 is 360 by 2 pi r and this r is smaller because we are talking about the pinion okay the smaller wheel we are talking about so just by putting we have obtained the angle turn by the pinion when the on contact of uh, one pair of their stitches in contact is 18.52 degree okay so you have uh, understood how this particular equation we are writing expression we are writing that is the angle turn by the pinion is length of arc of contact into 360 degree by circumference of the pinion this is how it is coming because we know if we consider the throughout the uh, length of the circumference that is for 2 pi r contact length angle turn will be 360 degree in the method for the value equal to arc of contact it will be 360 degree divided by 2 pi r into arc of contact okay understood let me know yes sir Thank you. Then uh, some similar kind of problems also other problems we have written. Okay. So maybe in the next class we'll discuss the other problem. Okay. And uh, after that we'll start discussing about your gear train. Okay. So similar some other problems from gear drive. Okay. You oh, you also trip people also. Uh, right okay so that you can have an idea about that how to solve it otherwise only if i just solve and uh, discuss the problem if you don't practice it will not be like you will not be able to do it huh? okay you may get confused that's why all of you practice some other problems okay so and uh, understood now what i am talking about yes sir okay and after that in the next class after solving problem okay we'll discuss about different 
keratins what is the use of keratin what we understand by keratin different types and all and we'll also be solving some problem okay so then with this we'll be stopping here for today i'll be taking the roll calls now and respond to your name calls and in the meantime if you have any doubt from today's class you can ask any question from today's class No, sir. Basically, this uh, relationship, what to understand by like module, what is the your velocity ratio or gear ratio, arc of contact, part of contact, this is the like uh, minimum number of teeth that will be required in the different uh, wheels as well as that is the opinion. Okay, so those things you must recall. Then uh, this problem is easy. Thus, have you should have the uh, understanding of those things. Okay. So with this then uh, we'll stop here for today. So respond to your name call, Nilot Paul. Yes, sir. Shankar. Shankar. Yes, sir. Arsisman. Present, sir. Rehan. Rehan. Present, sir. Artha. Present, sir. Present, sir. Present, sir. Present, sir. Present, sir. Rehan, present, sir. Yeah, given Rehan. Hey, Mickey. Yes, sir. And no hustle. Yes, sir. Tezer. Yes, sir. Rishik is not. Yes, sir. And Emil. Emil. Emil is absent. Okay. So we'll stop here for today. Next class we'll meet. We'll study about Kyotage. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir.